This week I'll be making a coaster which hopefully resembles a similar look to the 80s TV game show Blockbusters. Blockbusters originally ran from 1983 for 10 years and was presented by the late great Bob Holness and made for great tea time viewing. The game board consisted of a series of hexagons and hopefully when finished the coaster will have that Blockbusters feel to it. It's quite a simple piece to design, but there is a bit of work needed when filling and sanding the letters with milliput, and some additional woodworking to do off the CNC. I've been machining the coaster from an off-cut piece of maple that I've got left over from a guitar build which is perfect for this piece. It's 12.5mm thick, and it's all skimmed up on the CNC ready to go. So on opening up Vetric and after clicking create a new file, it's simply a single sided job with a width of 200mm, a height of 150mm and a thickness of 12.5mm. Z0 is a material surface, XY datum is in the centre and I just click OK. The first thing I do is create a hexagon. Fortunately this is easy in Vetric. Under create vectors is a polygon tool. Clicking on it presents us with several options. As a hexagon has six sides, I just select six sides. Center point I set to zero, and radius for now I have at 50mm. Then click and create produces a hexagon vector on screen. Then I close the window. Now this produces a perfect looking hexagon, but the hexagon I'm after is a slightly different size. But I found that when I resized it, the angles of the hexagon changed drastically, and it didn't look right, so I did it as follows. I select the hexagon vector, then under transform objects there's an option to set the selected object size. I make sure the link XY box is checked, which means the width and the height will change together. Then I set the height to 100mm, click apply, then close and deselect the vector by pressing escape. Then under create vectors I open up draw rectangle, and create a vector that's 140mm wide by 100mm high. I'm going to use a rectangle as a guide, and drag the size of the hexagon to the edges of the rectangle. To do this I select node editing, under edit objects, and select the hexagon. I first select the three left hand side nodes, then I click and drag the left centre node until it touches the side of the rectangle. I repeat the process on the right hand side of the hexagon. Doing this allows the angles of the hexagon to remain the same, and in effect just stretches the sides of the hexagon. Then I highlight the rectangle and press delete, and then click back on selection mode under edit objects so I don't accidentally start editing more nodes. So now I have my elongated hexagon shape. All that's left to do now is to add the letter. To do that I click on draw text and type in H. Now I'm using Digital 7 font from Style 7, which I got from defont.com. My text height I've set at 62mm. After clicking close, and with the H still highlighted, I can centre the text by selecting Align Selected Objects and Align to Material, clicking the middle of the three. And that's all there was to it. Now for toolpaths, everyone's toolpaths are different, but as a quick guide, I used a 60 degree V bit cutter for the letter, and cut the piece out with an 8mm down cut spiral, leaving two 3D tabs on which I removed later. I also machined the letter and filled it with milliput and sanded it smooth before machining the profile cut. I also used my router tables to round over the edges and add a slight chamfer to the coaster.
Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize rolls open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support. 